How's it going everybody? Welcome to Lunar Trading. In this video, I'll be going over my levels and plan for the stock market next week. So let's jump right into it. The S&P was down 1.06% today. We see price struggling to break through 418 as price came close to that level today, but saw a pretty decent sell off from that point. The overall market continues to remain in this uptrend, pushing higher though, as the bulls appear to remain in control, breaking us out of that main market downtrend that we've been watching for a long time, showing that the market may want to start to pivot. I didn't take any trades today, so let's jump into levels to be watching. I first am going to be watching this support zone from 410 to 408. Next, I'll be watching the support zone from 403 to 400, then this uptrend. And for resistance, I'll be watching this zone from, from 418 to 417, and then I'll be watching this zone up here from 424 to 426. As price does remain in this steady uptrend, I don't want to be too aggressive on the bear side, but if price does come up to this first resistance zone and is struggling to push out higher, maybe if we get a similar setup that we saw today, then I'll look to take a short position position and I'll probably have my stop loss close to the high of day or around 418.31. And if price does push down a little bit lower into my support area, I'll be watching for a base to start to form, maybe some bullish reversal signs to look to take a long position as we could see a higher low get put in and price want to try to continue to make new highs. And if price does break above this first resistance zone, I'll wait till we hit my second area before looking to take a short position. But I will want to see some confirmation of sellers being more aggressive before taking any positions, which requires a little bit more patience. That's why I haven't been trading a whole lot. The market conditions have not been favorable to how I like to trade. I like to trade when the market's in consolidation periods like this, not when we're in a steady uptrend or steady downtrend. I also will look to take a long position if price comes close to this uptrend, as we've seen a couple different bounces off it and near it. So I'm going to continue to trade this trend until it breaks, but I recommend everybody plays in favor of the trend. A lot of times Traders like to predict moves before it happens. I think it's wise to wait till you get confirmation before taking a position. It's just my opinion, but I'll learn any trade I take in the Discord. Link down below if you guys want to join. I haven't been trading a ton lately. Like I said, the market hasn't been in favorable conditions. That gives me an edge, but once it does, I will alert my plays. You can also chat with me and a thousand other members in the community. They'll give out their different plays and charts and how they're doing. It's a great community. You guys should definitely check it out. And if you like these short and sweet technical videos, subscribe to the channel. I try to upload daily for you guys, but take care, everybody.